All right, uh, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Makakodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Now, Shalom, meaning peace, and uh, Kasadium, mercy. But what I'm saying, these Hebrews words right, but unto the elect. Today, I just want to, you know, get into a, a quick video, just through the Spirit, Lord willing about just coming out of this world first spiritually as we uh, await for our Lord Yahweh Shah to return. All right, so um, going right into it, the first scripture I'm gonna read, it's Micah 2 and 10. This is Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it's polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sword destruction. All right, now I'm breaking the scripture down. Arise ye and depart. This is being directed to the Israelites. Only the elect will hear in these times, but you know, these are being directed to the Israelites, which today are being called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's what them, that's the bywords that's put on them today. For this is not, this is not your rest. This is, yeah, it's not our rest because because it's polluted, as as the saying. So what's what's polluted? The air. We got chemtrails in the sky right now. I'm, I'm outside. I can see chemtrails. The water's polluted. The food. The people. The people's minds are polluted. And they shall destroy you, even with a sword destruction. Yeah, if the Lord didn't put His Spirit upon His men and just left them out here. This world would eat him up, man. This world would utterly be destroyed. Esau, who's the so-called white man, the devil, he plans on just killing everything, man, and including himself. This guy is a mass, he's a, he's a madman, man. That's why the Lord said this. Matthew's 24. This is, let me get it. All right, this is Matthew 24, and I'll start at 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the world, since the beginning of the world, to this time, no, 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 nor sh ever shall be. It was talking about basically Jacob's trouble, when all hell breaks loose in the streets of America, primarily because this is where the bulk of, you know, all the 12 tribes are here. For there shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world. So slavery, 70 AD, the time of you know the Greeks, even the time you know the Romans, all the all the past atrocities that our nation faced is is going to pale in comparison to what's about to come. What the Lord's going to have this devil bring. And except those days be shortened, and except that time be shortened, when you know when all this destruction is happening, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. And we're even in those times now where the days are being shortened and sped up. Like you look up, it's Monday, and then you look up again, boom, it's Friday. Or, you know, it's Saturday, already time to go back out there. But yeah, the days are being shortened because this place is just, it's just so wicked. And then, and it's only going to get worse. Like, right now we're in this, what, what is it, like June? They got this whole demonic pride shit going on. Basically, I'm lifting these damn sodomites. These damn he, she, wannabes. And, you know, you know what, how the Lord feels about pride it's man this place has to go man and that's why we got to depart from this world we can't be part of this world because ultimately this world is going to be destroyed and you don't want you don't we don't want to be caught up in that Hold on, get this scripture price from the word all wrong destruction Here we go. Uh, this is a Proverbs 16 and 8. Pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. And man, 
That's, that's really all of Babylon, really, which is spearheaded by Esau, the so-called white man. He's he's pride beyond belief. He's the embodiment of pride, this devil. And he just spews it on the people. That's why the scriptures say, as is the ruler, so is the people. So everyone's walking around here all proud and shit, but really ain't nothing to be proud of, man. Ain't nothing to be proud of. We're just a bunch of demons, proud demons, man. It's crazy. Even us, man, we have nothing to be proud of. We didn't get this truth on our own. So there's no room for pride, but hey, that's this place, man. But going back to Micah 2 and 10, don't get out the point. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it's polluted. It shall destroy you, evil to sore destruction. Yeah, so, and this is spiritually, like, this is, this is talking about your mind leaving this place. Because... We're going to be delivered physically out of here, out of Babylon. But spiritually, like our mindset, it shouldn't be about this world. It shouldn't be with the ways of this world. Yeah, man, we got to be meditating on Yahweh Bashim Yashad, this truth, the Akim, the body, the kingdom of heaven. You know, righteousness, man. Holy conversation, as it says. So, uh, 1 John 2 and 15 says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life, see, there's that pride again. It's not of the Father, but it's of the world. And the, and the world passeth away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the Most High by the forever. Man. That said a lot right there, but basically, love not the world, man. You loving this world is going to put you at it as an enemy to Yahweh Bashim Yashai, and that's the last thing you want to be, is an enemy to the King of Terrors. That's why, and even here it says, and the world passeth away. This world is going to be destroyed. Everything in it, the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of the Most High abideth forever. All right, so the next scripture I want to go to is Romans 12, 2. Oh, it's locking in. What's the will of the, the Heavenly Father? Preaching the word, feeding the sheep, you know, um, ministering, being a, a brother in the spirit. It's the will of the Heavenly Father. This is what the Most High wants of his men in these latter days. To, you know, to be, to be occupied in prophecy and in the word and the truth. This is uh, Romans 12 and 2. And be not conformed to this world. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. All right, so be not conformed to this world. That's that's pretty straightforward. You you shouldn't be you shouldn't be like man. You can be a user of this world, as it says, but don't abuse this world. You shouldn't be like oh man. Thinking about, oh, I can't wait for the next NBA Finals, 2020 NBA Finals or whatever, you know. It's worldly shit, you know. Oh, man, I can't wait for this. And it's things of the world, like things that have nothing to do with the spirit, which your mind is all in. This is a, even a cut, to, definitely a cut to myself. I got to be more loyal in the spirit, too. Because there's nothing out here in this world. This world is, is darkness, man gross darkness to people as it says all right what's the next scripture so lock in wait here we go so colossians 3 and 2 set your affection on things above and not on things on the earth yeah set your affection on things above what's what's above well we, we all know how about shimmy i shy him his son on the right hand side and basically the kingdom of heaven above me like if i can get the word for above right let's see if i can go to it 
with you. You know it above, but set your affection on things above. Upward. Let's get the, the city with the word. Strong. Strong's G507. I know. I know. I know. All right, it says up, upward, up above, on high, of the quarters of the heavens, you know. Let's see, upward, above, well, basically it's saying high, but we know it's a higher, a higher standard of living. In the kingdom of heaven, you think it's gonna be them? You think it's gonna be our pride parade in the kingdom of heaven? Come on, man, you think it's gonna be GMOs in the kingdom of heaven? That's, that's a higher, that's an above life, man. Here we don't even know what we're eating, what we're drinking, what, what, what's in what we're drinking. Like, say you're drinking water, you don't know what's really in that water. That's why it goes back to the other scripture in Micah, this place is polluted, man. So why would you set your affections on things here, man? Like, oh, you might have a nice car, a nice house, a the wife and kids. I mean, that's cool and all, but it ain't going to get you delivered. That is going to all be destroyed. Yeah, if you're, of course, if you're the elect, you can, of course, save your household through you being delivered. They'll be delivered with you. But all, that, all your earthly possessions, even your flesh, your flesh ain't even going to make it. And this flesh is earthly. We're going to get a new spiritual heavenly bodies. So this is what we're supposed to be setting our affection on, on the things above. This is what we're supposed to be set your affection. To have understanding, be wise, to feel, to think, to have an opinion on oneself. Hold on, let's get in. To exercise the mind, entertain, or have a sentiment or opinion on. It's, yeah, this is what you this is what you, your mind should be. This is your mindset. The kingdom, things above. What's that scripture? Seek the kingdom first. Let me see. Let me get that. All right. This is uh, Matthew 6 and 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Shai, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Man. Yeah, man. It's... All these things. Yeah, so basically, this was going into, like, how, like, today we worry about, oh, man, I gotta, we gotta, I gotta eat, my, I gotta eat, I gotta pay this bill, I gotta do all these things that are on the earth. But your main focus should be the kingdom of heaven. How about Shemir Ashad knows what we need to, to sustain us? To the next day, our daily bread. The Lord, the Lord got us. The Lord will take care of us, but He'll only do that if you're seeking Him, the kingdom of heaven, His word and His ways. Like He ain't gonna, He ain't gonna help someone that ain't on his on his team, ain't on his side. Like what would you? I mean, all right. What's? All right, I guess this would be the last scripture. This is ultimately, this is the ultimate us coming out of this world when we're delivered, when the, when the elect is delivered. Let me see if I can get it come up. Let's see, yeah. All the way in the end. I'll read this one here. All right, man. I, this is a, this is a beautiful chapter, man. It's deep though, so. But I'm gonna I'm gonna just go into this part right here. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai entered into them. And they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Yeah, this is talking about 
So basically, them, those dry bones in Ezekiel 37, which is, you know, Israel, the, which the elect, first and foremost, they set up the spirit, which uh, was implemented, well, not implemented, it was given unto them. And they stood up, as you see men all around the world, prophesying the truth, the 100% truth. They stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Which is who? These, 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 these people out here. Starting with Esau. Two-thirds, they scared too, because they, they see, oh man, brothers is raising up. What does this mean? But you know, Jake, Jake is, you know, Jake gonna be Jake. Yeah, but still, that that's you know Esau's terrified. He he de that's why he demonizes it, the truth, and that's why he, he sends out agents like I don't want to say these these clowns' names, but you know these agents. They Esau sends them to try and stop the building. That that shows that they they are in fear, man. And it's only gonna get worse. Imagine when that spiritual power come, man. They they're gonna really be in fear then. All right. And um, or verse twelve, and they heard a great voice. So it's the part one. And they heard a great voice from heaven, saying unto them, "Come up hither." And they ascended up into heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. Man, this is talking about when Yahweh Shai returns. Man, come up hither. The apostles always say that's gonna be said in Hebrew. I, I believe it, man, because. Fuck English, man. And they are sending up into heaven, up into the heavens, you know, into a, in a cloud. When it's when it says cloud, most of the times, well, a lot of the times, it's talking about you know ch the chariots of Israel, the chariots of Yahweh Shimei Shai, the Lord. That's what it's talking about, a cloud, a chariot, the chariots that's gonna come and deliver the elect and destroy everything else. And their enemies beheld them. Yeah, uh, who's their enemy? Esau. The other nations, two thirds, they're gonna see the salvation of the elect, and it's gonna be like, man, that's this gonna be the ultimate arising in the part. This is the ultimate come up. This is it, man. This is the this is when, boom, the elect, the bride and the bridegroom are gonna, the bridegroom and the bride are gonna finally reunite. And that's just gonna be beautiful, man. They're gonna reign with Mashiach. Okay. First Thessalonians 4 and 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, and with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of the Most High, and the dead in Hamashiach shall rise first. Yeah, all the brothers that died in the Lord doing the work, starting with the elders from back in the days all the way up until, you know, until the deliverance, they're going to be the worst ones risen up, showing that no one dies in this thing. Which, that's another scripture, you know. No one dies in Yahweh Shai, man. Then we, which are alive and remain, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Amen. These words are truly comforting, man. Deliverance, that's, that's what it's all about. This is why you, we come out this world. We're coming out this world because there's a better, there's better things ahead. And there's, there's something better than this place. There's something better than this world. This world ain't shit. This is the, it's a shitty ass kingdom. Just look around. Even you go to the so-called nice parts of the, uh, what you call it, of this kingdom. Like I'm in New York. Say you go to like downtown. It's, yeah, it might be a little more cleaner, but it's still, it's still a horrible stench. It's got devils everywhere. Uh, but Jake all bugged out. It's still hell. Yeah, Sodom, Sodom in Egypt, as the scriptures say. That's why, well, like I'm gonna keep saying, it's the point of the video, to rise and depart and to come out of this world. And Lord willing, we can just be more in the spirit, and you know, just get into it. All right, well, that's it. I'm not gonna keep rambling. I just want to give all praises. Once again, to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Now, Shalom to the Akim. All right, Shalom.